Good evening! Last time we did my favorite, his favorite, rare breed. Tonight, we're going to try something we've tried before and did not like. So let's see how Blade and Bow goes. Let's do this. <laughs> Blade and Bow, guys, from Deck Knight on the Rocks. Giving it a try. Again, we've had a whole bottle. Hated it. Never got better. Neck didn't help. Letting it sit didn't help. No. So we thought another bottle would be a good idea just to give it a second shot. And uh, we got to get all five keys. And I'll tell you about that in a second. Again, another, another sh shit moment. Anyway, I'm Homer. I'm Amy. And I'm Lexi. And Blade and Bow, here we go. Alrighty. That, that rhymed. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll just crack her right open. Yeah. Tear on the key. Uh, get a little, I don't know, twisty turn. So last time we tried this was. Uh, oh, it was like right when we first started. Yeah, so ours. like six months ago. Or maybe a little longer. Maybe Not a little though. longer than one of our first bottles. And. Whoo, he was trying to get me into bourbon. This was not the bottle to do it with. No. You ready for a pop? So yeah, pop it. Good Ooh, pop. It was a good pop. Good pop. Gotta give it that. So, um, let's go ahead. I know, I feel like we're kind of rushing here, but we're gonna I'll let Amy start doing her. Something about Blade and Bow is it comes with the keys. You can see it. They all have a different letter on it. Number. Number. It has a different number. So, if Here, show the number. You got this one is a number two. It doesn't focus, and so you can't see it. But anyway, that's the key. And the reason it has a key is because Blade and Bow is distilled at the old Stitzel Weller Distillery, and uh, it's got a history. You know, obviously it's Weller. So, but if you see, it's got five keys. All right, guys. Uh, we had a little technical difficulties and we were recording for like probably six minutes and only got two and a half. So we're going to not start over, but we're going to try to figure out where we were and see how, see if we can recreate greatness. <laughs> All right. So I know where it cut out. I was talking about the keys and just making sure it's still going. So you got the five keys of the, uh, the Stitzel Weller distillery. Blade and Bow, and I'll read it in a minute because I read it earlier. It's got the five keys. It shows it on the bottle. Like the five different keys. There's one, two, four, three, four, and five. And it represents the five keys that used to hang in the door at the Stitzel Weller Distillery. So um, I'm going to jump right into the BreakingBourbon.com website's breakdown of Castle and Key. This isn't Castle and Key. It's Blade and Bow. This is Blade and Bow. We're talking about keys. Same kind of, I said it earlier, I think it's on here from the first part of the video that we recorded. It's like Castle and Key. They're using an old distillery, and um, I'm going to read it. It does smell good. So, uh, it's 91 proof. It's non-age stated and is undisclosed mash bill. Um, Blade and Bow is produced at the original site of the iconic Stitzel Weller Distillery in Louisville, Kentucky. Are we still recording? Yep. The original distillery closed its doors in 1992, and Diageo, Diageo, I don't know if it's Italian or Spanish, whatever, D-I-G-E-O, reopened the facility in 2014. In regards to the origins of the blade and bow name, it represents the two parts of the skeleton key, the blade and the bow. The blade and bow brand is tribute to the five keys that once hung on the door of the Stitzel Weller Distillery, which stands for the five steps of making bourbon, grains, yeast, fermentation, distillation, and aging. Do you think it's a Diego? I don't know. I mean, it's not like San Diego, so I doubt it. Anyway, so the nose. The nose is a light, airy, starts with aromas of peaches, honey, hay, and light oak, which encapsulates with a dose of ethanol, which I wasn't expecting to be so prominent for a 91 proof. Do you feel like it's got like a hard kick to it, like the alcohol scent? No. I don't either. I smell hay now and a little bit of honey. Like I think it's very sweet smelling. I like the smell. It is sweet. I can't. I can't say it's peaches or honey, but it is sweet. Yeah, I like the smell of it. I also smell apples, caramel, and banana. <laughs> no. Front end was good, but the rest of it was not. 
All right. The taste or the palate. You got something? Just one thing? Very ouchy. Oh. Gonna need a new ice. Relax. Why did you do that? I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pour the water out. <laughs> It looked like you just went, where are you? Yeah, that's a blooper reel right there. <laughs> well, all night of bloopers, apparently. All right, so the palate. Peaches from the nose carry over and are joined with white pepper, vanilla, and oak. I get the white pepper. I, I do, the white pepper. and I get the vanilla. Yep, and the oak. I'll tell you what, though. But I taste oak and everything. It's not as bad as last time. So we can actually buy them for the keys now? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if it would be my everyday drinker. No. But I definitely... It's definitely, guys, we were like yagging over this horrible. stuff before. It was horrible. But, and we drank a whole bottle and didn't like it. Yeah, because we sort of just got drunk off of it. And we're like, okay, it's getting better. Is it getting better to you? So, like, we started out with this, our very first video. Go back and watch it. It's horrible. Not content, but create the quality. Still, go back and watch it. Smoke wagon. We drank it. We hated it. Now we don't. I don't want to say it's great, but we enjoy it. We don't dislike it anymore. No. And I was hoping this would happen with this, but I'm not feeling that. I you, don't I, think it's that do. bad. But I think, to be honest with you, I'm. I think you like bourbon more than I do. Well, what? I think what I mean by that is, is I really like the ones I like, but I'm not. I don't have a wide palate or wide I'm not very open to different types. Um, I think I like the what I like and then I don't like the other stuff. I think you're more open you I like you can, different stuff. You can tell the difference better than I can between other ones. Mm -hmm. And you can you have a more refined palette of tasting individual specificness because of I'm each more one. Refined. It's true. And uh what burger hat. So um I like what I like and I don't like what I don't like. Nothing wrong with that. But I will drink anything. Tequila? Uh, any bourbon. <laughs> and yes, you know I'll drink tequila. I just don't do it anymore. Vodka. He's not a vodka guy. Unless you put it, vodka is good in peach knee high. Man, that is awesome. But we're not talking about that stuff. What in the world? I am. So, uh, palate, we just talked about palate. So, the finish, the back end. The finish starts with the spurt. Love the spurts. Of light heat up front. That mellows into sweeter notes. Mm -hmm. That light heats by that white pepper. Mm -hmm. If you let it sit on your tongue, it's got that little bit of heat. Once it goes down, it's very smooth and sweet. It does coat the glass pretty well. Yeah, it does. And it coats your mouth pretty well, too. The fruit flavor and the vanilla carry through and mingle with white oak. I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, I can definitely get the oak. I'm not... I'm not getting fruit. Yeah, I do. But I'm getting it now, like later, like later. an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. The vanilla is in my mouth. The oak is in the swallow. And the fruit is an aftertaste for me. The vanilla actually stays yeah. in your mouth. I have to say it. It's, it's way better than it was. Way better. Maybe we so just had a bite. So does that mean, or does that mean we're getting better? We're getting better? Or we had a bad bottle. Is it possible to have a bad bottle? I've heard it a couple times from other people because uh, the one uh, YouTube video t uh, channel mm -hmm. that I enjoy. Which is? Should I say it? I think you should. Well, I really enjoy it. Uh, the Whiskey Row. I mean, they're competition now for us, but go check them out. They're really good. David and Jamie. Oh, okay. The bald guy and his wife. Mm -hmm. uh, they're speakeasy down in their little thing. Yeah. Check them out. They're cool, too. Yeah. Have never met them and, like, never talked to them, never <laughs> anything, but their videos are really cool. So They're uh, talking like they're famous. They probably are in the bourbon YouTube world. Mm. Who are we? I don't know. We are nobody. So, anyway, he, I watched a video where he talked about he didn't like Russell's tenure, which Russell's tenure, is it still recording? Mm -hmm. Is really good. Yeah. And it's a wild turkey brand, mm -hmm. you know, and I love it. And, uh. He said he must because, but tenure tenure's not single, but he must. He said I must have had a bad bottle because the first bottle he just hated it, and then he got another one and he really loved it. So it must have been a bad bottle. Maybe, which or is does your do you just refine and taste? It? Well, someone has been drinking 
bourbon for a long time, you don't think that would be something that they would know. I could see but that. But how, how do you know? I mean, I'd imagine he's been drinking it for a long time. Most people that do this have, they're just, they're just different. Amateurs. Yeah. Your phone's on me. Okay. It'll be fine. I think it's cool that we are just starting with it. And I hope whoever else is starting is the way to go. Join us. Join us in our adventure. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Hit the bell. Of getting away from tequila and vodka. Yes. And wine. So um, comment below about bad bottles. If you've ever had one or you have any experience in that world where you can tell us, teach us some things. I feel like there's a master who tastes all the barrels. Uh, yeah, I don't it's know. not that. It's just us. I don't know. I've heard it from a couple of different people. Anyways, well, we need a little bit more to put on the ice and see how that goes. Yes. Because so far, so are you a... Uh, you're liking it better. I'm liking it better, but I'm still not. You're not this a fan. This is not going to be. I mean, I'll buy it to get the keys, but I'm not going to be like, oh, this is See, awesome. See, I don't like just buying bottles to get the key. I do. So, uh, but I'm a collector of things. I like collecting stuff. Let me tell you about this key. So, there's five keys. They got five numbers on it. Did you look it up? Let's see what happens. No, I didn't, it didn't say. I didn't see it. But, um, so we have one key. And I told Amy, let's get another blade and bow. So we get the key, we try it again. So um, I went to the store. They had like seven bottles. I went through them all, a bunch of different numbers. And I grabbed two because I was like, yeah, I don't think it's two. And I even said, how do you know what key you have? It's been such a long time. She ain't wrong. And he said, oh, I know. I don't think I said, oh, I know. I think I said I feel good about it. But... Um, now we have two number two keys. So uh, if anybody has a different number and wants a two, let me know and we can trade. So it's called the Five Key Club. Did you have this here? Um, yes. But you know how these sites go, how you have click to on something and it's something have to else. Put and it something in. Else. Clickbait. Well, no, anything. Oh, you got to put in your birth date? Yeah. Well, it's not 22. Reset. So. Anyway, guys, um, I'm not going to tell you to go buy this, but it's uh, it's it's definitely better than it has been the whole time before, and I, I don't hate it. So um, if you ever have a bourbon you don't like, give it a second try. It might be good. We uh, so I don't know. She's still reading. Um, it's good on ice, you know. I love it on the rocks. I don't know if they do anything. It just says if you've collected all five keys, it means you're the member of a key club. Please take a picture and send it to us. All right. Maybe it's not worth buying the five keys. It's six keys now because I screwed up. But it symbolizes the southern traditions of hospitality, warmth, and enjoying the finer things in life. Okay. All right. What's our time frame? So if you know more than... I do, just looking at a real quick thing. Um, Let us know. Comment below. Be a member of the Key Five Club. Key Club. Yep. Yeah. In 50 states. Maybe one day. So, is this in Kentucky? Yes, it's Stitzel Weller, which is in Kentucky. It is in Bottle of Stitzel Weller Distilling Company, Louisville. So it'll be and part how much does this bottle cost? This how much should you spend on it? Is I feel like we just bought 49? That. We did like about two weeks ago. It's only 49? It's like 49 or 59, one or the other. Okay. So that's about the price you should be paying for, right? Breaking Bourbon has it at uh, Awkward Silence. I think $50. That's, is what Breaking Bourbon says. Okay. I think that's important when doing these because... Uh, going to liquor stores, man, from here to across the street are way different prices. And watch the stores you go to yep. because they jack them up. And uh, also, even if it's not out, even if it's not uh, inflated price, they might just be expensive and not worth it. So definitely, I wouldn't pay more than forty nine. But how do you this. know what's worth it? Everybody's well, well, now we know. Different. Now we know. Oh we know. yeah. We know what we want to pay for things. Um, I don't think I would get another. Um, yeah. E-Colonel. 
I Colonel Taylor. Didn't, I didn't like it. Colonel Taylor. Yeah. See now, I don't. I don't think you remember, because when I, I'm gonna, we're gonna post the Colonel Taylor video next week, mm -hmm. and it's got you on there saying how much you do like it. I feel like it maybe you just doesn't. don't remember which one. I know you don't like Eagle Rare that much. I don't remember doing that video. Before. We didn't do. A video. See what happens when you drink in video. We didn't haven't done an Eagle Rare video, but we um, drank it. We drank a bottle and a half of it. We have. Yes. So. Um, but you've never liked it very much. Matter of fact, you don't like any Buffalo Trace product that much. Hmm. So. I know I don't like Buffalo Trace. Blands, I can I can drink. It's just very bland to me. Um, she likes to higher proof stuff, and Buffalo Trace doesn't make anything that high proof. They like you to drink it. Unless it's a single barrel or barrel proof something. Like, um, obviously the Weller barrel proof is higher, but it's still only like 114 proof, which is below wild turkey or rare breed. Yeah. So um, does Blade and Bow make anything else besides Blade and Bow? Not that I know of. But they have the gold one, which is like a 20 year or yeah. something. I don't know. Don't hold me that. Tell me and how long And this one doesn't have years on it, It's right? not age stated and the mash bill is not. They don't tell the mash bill. So yet. how do you know if a 20 year is not this? Because they, they sell that one for a whole lot more money. They wouldn't sell this for cheaper if it wasn't. So they could just really put 20 year on a bottle. But because see, it, this one does not state age. It has to. If it's states and age, then it has to be that age by law. Which It's just a law. They could buy it a law they want. But I since this is not age stated, it could be two years. I do like the bottle. It's a cool bottle. We've, oh, you know, we've, we got to remember to talk about that. Because we used to talk about it. Like, smoke wagon we were like how cool this bottle is maybe we've been doing it and mess with so many bottles that we're like we forget about how cool a bottle looks because a boring yeah. bottle does turn me like if you buy a, a bottle that looks like it's a wine bottle i don't want it right does that not turn you off when we're looking at bottles? no because a lot of the liquors are wine bottles well i mean it's just it's more like the embroidery and the cork and things like that that catches my but eye. i know that we've talked about We've talked about like the new riff and the the Bradshaw. They all just look like boring yeah. wine bottles, mm -hmm. you know. And, because it just has a label of yeah. a wine bottle, yeah. So, but anyway, what were you saying, Lexi? Penelope. Yeah, Penelope is very boring. We have not had that. Have not tried it. Yet. We don't even own one. Yeah, we do. Oh, did we get one? Yeah, we just did. Pick, we just did pick one today. Oh. We got the four grain. Let's see. Where's my rare breed? <laughs> anyway, so we're, I don't know how many minutes into this, so it's Let's about time it to up. hit her, end her up. Oh, we got to do our vote. Lexi vote. Ready? So Lexi, we're going to mm. make a name for this one so we can say the, the Lexi. On ice, it's even better. Sometimes ice makes it watery, but you still get that back end spice. Yep. I agree, 100%. I do like it. It mellows it out. Mellow, mellows out what I don't like about it, but still gives you a nice it's little still, kick yeah, in. And there's a lot much. that you don't, a lot of bourbons, once you put ice on it, you don't get any back end. Yeah. And this, I'm still getting that back end. So, so, I don't know. All right, ready? So, the the Lexi, Lexi we'll, come up with we'll figure out a name. Okay. In the meat, what do you think you need? Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. We'll do the whole list. Ready? Three, two. One, six. Four. Four and a six. Why? Why? Because <laughs> that the whole video explains why. But uh, anyway, that's uh, another. I like it on ice more than I like it on. On the rocks. On the rocks. So one rock. Yes, on the big rock. Big rock. You ever put lots of rocks? It's horrible. Lots of ice. It's the worst. In the thingy, and then when you went to go sip it, the ice it's gets everywhere. in your mouth. Oh, I can't stand it. It just melts so quick. Yeah, when you go to bars, they're like, "Oh, here, you want some ice?" No, it, no. it's not. It definitely makes a big difference it to does. have the big rock compared to the little ice cubes. I bet I totally drink it neat without all of that. I 100% agree. Mm -hmm. All right, so blade and bow, not as bad as it used to be. I'm not gagging. So, all right. I actually enjoyed it. Come do your thing. Don't bounce the phone. We're still using an iPhone, guys. Bear with us. Got to get some microphones, too. Like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the bell. Um, comment if you've had any bad bottles, right? Yes. Yeah. Or any other comments you want to give. All right, guys. Blade and bow, not as bad as it used to be. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bye.